The race to be Plattsburgh's next mayor has its candidates. Former Mayor Donald Kasperzik ran unopposed for the Republican nomination, but for the Democrats, it wasn't as easy. North Country reporter Matt Lawfer spoke to both candidates and has more. Final results are in, and Wendell Hughes will be on the ballot in November for Plattsburgh mayor. That doesn't mean smooth sailing for Hughes, though. He'll be campaigning, hoping to beat out the sole Republican candidate and former Plattsburgh mayor, Donald Kasperzak. I met up with Hughes shortly after he got the news of Tuesday night's victory and asked him how he feels. Just, um, they're mixed right now. I mean, you know, right now we've had some, you know, it's really positive for me and uh, Jeff. Jeff Moore didn't do so well. Elizabeth did really well. And, you know, moving forward, um, I just thank you, Plattsburgh. Thank you, everybody that voted tonight. I mean, it's, it's, it's humbling. I mean, really, I don't know what else to say. Wendell Hughes obviously ecstatic and emotional after Tuesday's win. His opponent, Dan Lennon, also in good spirits despite dealing with the challenges of low voter turnout. The voter turnout looks like it was about 10 to 15 percent, which is what we kind of expected. We would have liked to see more voters get out and vote in the primary, but, you know, it's hard to do that. And I understand that general elections generally have bigger turnout. A very long and busy day in Plattsburgh wraps up. We now look forward to the November election and all the fun campaigning between now and then. In Plattsburgh, Matt Lawfer, ABC 22 News. The final results for the Democratic Party, he was beating Lenin by more than 150 votes. You may remember Lenin was placed on leave last month for an ongoing police investigation. No charges have been filed against him. The race to replace the mayor is set, but Christopher Rosenquist's name was still on a ballot Tuesday night. He ran for the Ward 3 Common Council Democratic nomination. Rosenquist took on incumbent Elizabeth Gibbs. Gibbs was able to defeat the outgoing mayor with almost 70% of the vote. She has held the Ward 3 seat since 2019. The other Common Council primary is in Ward 6. Right now, Democrat Amy Collin has defeated incumbent councillor Jeff Moore, but the race could trigger an automatic recount. The two are only separated by 18 votes, and according to the Clinton County Board of Elections, any vote margin of 20 or less will trigger a recount.